can you help us understand a little bit more about this idea of receiving or just in general, what does it really mean to become a son or daughter of God? I love this doctrine because I, I think it ties in so many other teachings that we get through scripture um, because the Lord has given us power to actually become perfect like he is perfect. I mean, there's so many ways that it fits in together. And so here in verse 12, again, where he said, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, believing in him and receiving him and changing, receiving that power. It's a second birth. It's the mighty change that happens. But look at the way the apostle Paul described it. It's the very same doctrine. Um, it's in Romans. And Romans chapter 8, starting in verse 14, think, hear the similarity in the verbiage here. Um, he wrote, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So in this way, he calls it adoption, where we become his children, the children of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think it, it's, a, it's a reminder that too, that then we can call the Father Abba, which is a more intimate, uh, a more personal title. Um, that usually you think of Christ being the only one that could call our Father that. Mm -hmm. 